hello guys in this video i am going to introduce you to this fascinating research model called as a voice craft voice craft is a token in filling in neural codec language model or in very simple words for a layman this model can do text to speech in a very very high quality and it can respond and get trained on a new voice very very quickly it's a really good text to speech or tts model with voice cloning capabilities and only takes few seconds to train now when we say that it's a token infilling neural codec language model what it means is that it is a type of neural network architecture designed for natural language processing tasks particularly suited for text generation and completion this model operates by predicting missing or masked tokens within a sequence of text effectively filling in the gaps it employs a combination of techniques such as self attention mechanism transformer architectures and token level predictions to understand and generate coherent text this model is based on of a thorough research by these researchers the codec aspect in this model refers to its ability to encode and decode information efficiently facilitating tasks like compression and decompression these models are trained on large corpora of text data and excel at tasks like text completion summarization and language translation making them versatile tools for various nlp applications i will drop the link to this github repo and this paper in video description so that you can also read along to see what exactly it does another cool thing about this voice craft is that it also offer you zero shot text to speech in the wild zero shot learning in machine learning or in the context of this model refers to the ability of a model to generalize to unseen classes or tasks without explicit training data so this is what this voice craft is now let me show you in the google colab as how you can run the inference on this i'll be using the free version of colab and let me select my gpu by changing the runtime type to t4 gpu that's done now let's import some of the required uh, parameter and set our environment and i'm using their own notebook so i'm importing the os here and then i'm setting some of the environment variables let's wait for it to finish hopefully this will get finished and then meanwhile let's go back to this github repo go up and then click on code grab the url because i'm going to clone this repo now just say get clone and then this repo let's run it i need it to put the exclamation sign before it and now let's cd to this directory which is cd voice craft and now i'm in that directory you can confirm it by simply doing pw which is present working directory and you can see that i'm in the uh, voice craft directory now once that's done uh, we can import the torch and torch audio if that is available hopefully and then let's run it and that has failed which means that first we need to install all the prerequisites which you can run this with pip command and that has those are all present in this github repo and there are quite a lot of them so let's wait for all of them to get installed if i scroll to the right there are a lot and lot of them and i have got them from this environment variable file in the voice craft repo so all i did i went into the voice craft i just copy pasted all of these with pip and then i have converted it to the pip install command and it is running at the moment as you can see so let's wait for these to finish let's see how long does it take all the prerequisites are done i have imported the tokenizer and in order to the 
in order to do the inference all you need to do is to run this command here now these are a lot of things happening here i'm not going to go into the all detail but on the very high level or there are some of the hyper parameters which are specifying the top p top k randomness all the probabilities and then some of the silence token and it is specifying whether code code is being used or not here you need to give your uh, the file which is being used in our case you see you can see that it should be in the demo directory from there uh, it is just going to convert this text to the speech and you can uh, this is original script and then it is original audio which is being processed here so let me run it and once i have run it it has completed successfully and generated this text file and if you click on this folder icon and then you can open it uh, by clicking on it it should open in the uh, right hand side as you can see here this is how easy it is to run text to speech with it now you can also get this thing installed locally for that you would just need to go to its github repo scroll down and this is how you can set up your local system but you would uh, require some meaty gpu with it uh, but i think it can be done on six uh, i think more than 20 gb of uh, vram or you can easily do it but you would need conda installed and then you would need to install all of this stuff from this github repo and you should be able to do it now this is um, really cool i think one of the good quality model out there when it comes to text to speech and now other than its github repo they also have a demo um, and this is a demo where you can go through a lot of details let me make it a bit bigger now they have here paper their code and model which we already saw and then um, this is a tldr here and if you scroll down these are some of the uh, good stuff happening in this one let me try to show you uh, you know uh, play some of the stuff here so that you are aware what is happening so let me go with this original content i'm going to play it what do i really want to do i want to talk to the audience let me make it a bit bigger here uh, i think my voice is not coming through let me try again which is always the best part of my day mm, that's pretty good and then you can download it from here too now if i scroll down more so you can see there is an example sorry there's an example of voice craft versus fluent speech there is a speech editing so let me play the original recording first fast cars that had the nice clothes that had the money they was criminals let me play voice uh let's see fluent speech first fast cars that had the nice clothes that had expensive gold watches that had the money they was criminals and now look at the target transcript from Weisscraft. Fast cars that had the nice clothes, that had expensive gold watches, that had the money. They was criminals. Yeah, pretty cool, I should say. And then there are a lot of examples in speech editing, voice, you know, voice box, target transcript, and it goes on and on. This is very interesting around zero shot, where it, it doesn't have any examples. So I will drop the link of this in video's description. Go through it. Really heads off to all of these researchers who have done wonderful work here. Let me know your thoughts on it. And if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.